Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had an amazing new year. Today I'm going to be showing you every single book that I read this year. So this year I read probably the most I've ever read ever. And it's not as many as these other booktubers, but I'm not a booktuber, so it doesn't matter. By the time you are watching this video, I will have read 30 books. I just, I wanted to film while the sun was still out. So I have one more book to finish, but it's still going to be in this video. And don't, don't even worry, guys. Don't even worry. So I did film a what I read so far video in August. And um, I've read quite a few books since then. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, if you didn't watch that one, don't even worry because I went back and watched a little bit of it and it's not my favorite. So I'm still going to go kind of not in depth about the books, but I'm going to talk about the books the same. You you get what I'm saying. All right, so let's get into it. Oh, I'm so excited. So the first book that I read, I actually do not have with me. It was called Nothing Burns As Bright As You. And I think think I gave it two stars. Honestly, my personal, like what's in my brain and what's on Goodreads ratings are not usually the same. So unless I'm 100% sure of the rating, I'm probably not going to tell you or like I'll just put it on the screen. This was a romance uh, about two black girls and one of them was like obsessed with fire. And it was an interesting story. I just didn't really like it that much. So I gave it two stars. And just so you know, I will be going mostly in order that I read the books. Then I read Queen of Nothing. This book is actually the third in the Folk of the Air series, the first one being Cruel Prince, then Wicked King, then Queen of Nothing. I went back and watched that video and realized I kind of spoiled this book a little bit because if you don't know what the other ones are about, you're kind of like confused. So I apologize. The first book follows a human girl who's in the world of Fae and there's a prince that just absolutely hates her and you know, obviously I'm gonna fall in love. And this is the third book, it's kind of showing, I don't know what, but I liked this book. I thought it was a good way to end this story within this world. It wasn't my favorite out of the three. I think Wicked King was probably my favorite, um, but it was really good. I enjoyed. Then I read Daisy Jones and the Six, which I really enjoyed. I kind of went into this not knowing anything except people liked it. And I really liked that the style of the book was different. It's interview style. And I thought this was a super fun book. I had a lot of fun and I really liked the show. I know it's kind of a controversial opinion. Next, I read The Inheritance Games, which this book was so much fun. This is about a girl who randomly is added to this rich guy's will and she has to like stay in his house for a year and he has some really hot grandsons and there's like a bunch of puzzles that they have to solve and it was just such a fun fast-paced book I had a really fun time I did end up reading the rest of the books um, not in order I kind of read them throughout the year I absolutely loved the Hawthorne legacy it was my favorite out of the three final gambit Kind of the same thoughts as Queen of Nothing. I thought it really wrapped up the story very well. And more recently, I did read Brothers Hawthorne. This one I did not really like. I didn't feel like it was a valuable addition to the story. Um, if you kind of want more thoughts on it, I did read it in a Week in My Life vlog. So you'll kind of see how I read this one. It just, I don't think it's necessary. I think these three, un yeah. Of course, I read Icebreaker. I <laughs> I had so much fun with this book. This follows an ice skater and an ice hockey player and how they're kind of forced to work together and they fall in love, duh. Do I think that this book is amazing? No. Did I have an absolute blast while reading it? Yes. I just think the criticisms I've seen, totally valid. However, just have fun. Like this was so fun. The next book that I read was very out of my comfort zone, kind of just way out there. I read The Marriage Portrait. Maybe I should start saying the authors. I read The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell and I really liked the story, like the story would drew me in and the writing was really beautiful. It was just a lot for me because I love things like icebreakers. So this was very difficult for me. <laughs> But I really enjoyed, I thought that it was just a really beautiful story. 
you might be seeing my face a couple of times because I don't know why I don't explain the books that I read. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, Marriage Portrait is about a girl who gets married to this guy that was engaged to her sister, but her sister passes away. And so her family's like, well, stop shaking. And her family's like, well, you can marry him. And it's about a 15 year old girl figuring out the ins and outs of marriage while also he's kind of a psychopath and crazy. Um, so yeah. And this is also in like the 1500s, I wanna say is when this was happening. So, you know, the huge. Then I read The Roommate, which I had seen on TikTok, but I honestly saw like maybe one video. It follows a girl who moves like across the country to be with this guy that she's in love with, but he ends up leaving and she's stuck with his roommate and it was okay. It just, I don't know, a lot of parts fell flat and there was one part that was like super interesting, but like not interesting enough for me to like care. Like it was really hard for me to get into this book. Then I read After I Do, which is my favorite Taylor Jenkins read book. This book follows a couple that decides to go absolutely no contact um, for one year to see if they still care about each other. And oh, I loved. I thought that this was such a fun way to talk about romance like I don't really read like established romance books already and this was just so fun and I really loved the way that the main character like was rediscovering herself after being in a marriage for so long and then being like by herself again I just thought it was so fun I had a really good time reading this I'm saying fun a lot but like I don't know if a book isn't fun what's the point you know I had to read the next Emily Henry book. The last one I read was Book Lovers, and that is my absolute favorite romance. Mm. And Happy Place is a book. <laughs> I couldn't really connect with the characters, and it just felt very, like, not unnecessary, but the reason that they were, like, in their predicament was just, like, dumb to me. This book follows a couple that goes on vacation with their friends, but they're actually not together anymore and they're pretending that they're still a couple. And I just, I don't know, it didn't feel, I don't know, I just couldn't really get myself to care about these characters. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep reading Emily Henry, but this one was not for me. I don't even know what to say without sounding like an absolutely terrible person. <laughs> I read Twisted Love. I I don't like this book. I'm just gonna leave it at that. This is a very popular series and personally I don't understand why. I think that the love interest in here is absolutely insane and there's nothing special about him but I I can't let this book take up any more space in my mind, so I'm done with it. <laughs> then I read The Davenports, which so, so much better <laughs> for me. This book follows a very rich black family in Chicago in like the 1920s. And this book also has multiple um, point of views. And this was just so fun. It is YA, so I feel like, I don't know, something about YA books, like they really, they are that girl. like. I don't know like it popped off next book is actually the last book that I mentioned in my previous what I read video and I'm so excited to talk about it right before going back to school I read love and other words by Christina Lauren I said I was gonna say the author's names and I didn't you guys can read this book is so good this book is so good guys this book is about a girl named Macy who is a doctor, she's engaged, like she's kind of living the perfect life and then she reconnects with her, I don't even know what to call him, but she reconnects with Elliot from her childhood and ah, guys, guys, he, oh, this book is just so good like the way that they act like the way they love each other the way he loves her actually was so perfect oh my gosh and i just like i love the cover i love 
I love, I love, I love. <laughs> so now into the books that I have not shared my opinion about at all, except for like a couple of them because I did a reading vlog. Then I read One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. This is actually the first book I read from her. I have read some of her fanfics. And this is a Romeo and Juliet modern retelling where they're witches and such a cool premise. I give this three stars, not because it's bad, but it just took me a while to really get into the story. It's so cool. But also I was in school and so just like reading wasn't a priority. So I probably would rate this higher if I had like read it in a shorter time frame. But it was really good. And I love the cover. I'm probably gonna get this tattooed on me to be honest with you. Another like absolutely top contender for my favorite romance, yours truly. This book follows, what's her name? Brianna. This book follows a doctor named Brianna and she's up for a promotion at work, but a new guy comes in and kind of getting in the way of that. And nobody really likes him because he doesn't really talk. And his name is Jacob. And you come to find out that he has social anxiety. So they start sending letters to each other. Guys, I just think that this was such a cute book. Like the way that Jacob, like when you, got to Jacob's point of view it was just oh I wanted the best for him and I literally wanted to cry because I was like you deserve all the love in the world and I just oh he's my baby and just oh, the the things the things that he does for her oh, I might start crying because like why, I want someone to do that for me of course I read fourth wing who didn't read fourth wing I'm not gonna tell you what this book is about because if you don't know what this book is about I think you're living under a rock but this book, I understand the criticisms, but I had an absolute blast reading this book. I was kicking, giggling my, kicking, giggling my feet. I was giggling and kicking my feet and this was just such an experience. And Violet is me. I am Violet because the way she was just thirsting after Zayden the entire time. Me too, girl. And me too. This book was so many dystopian like blueprint books just thrown into one and I absolutely ate it up. Then I read my second book from Miss Allie Hazelwood and it was Love Theoretically and I really liked this one. I really liked Love Hypothesis which is actually right there but I think this one was so much better. This like stop. <laughs> I'm like thinking about these books i'm just like eh -hee -hee. so this book follows elsie who is kind of unhappy with her current um career situation and so she is trying to get a new job but this guy right here jack yes <laughs> i said i love this book and i can't remember anything about it is kind of on the opposite end of her career spectrum so they're kind of like enemies in that way and he's kind of like in the way of her getting the job she wants, but also she's fake dating his brother. Isn't that like so, like, how are you, like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I just thought this was so fun and I just, I loved. The only thing I did not like about this book is that one of Elsie's main characteristics is that she kind of changes her personality depending on who she's talking to and she would and they would not shut up about it it was like oh you keep doing that you keep okay shut up please get just make out <laughs> i forgot to mention one of the books on my list i read for class and i don't have it with me and it was not boring but it's it doesn't fit the vibe of the rest of the books so that was my 17th book this year and so you're probably counting me like why are there not but I read it, I promise. Then I read Heartless, which is a Queen of Hearts retelling from the world of Alice in Wonderland. I think I picked this up because some YouTuber I watched said that this was like a five-star read for her or something like that. And it was not a five-star read for me because this was a really difficult like book to get into. Like I got, I was like halfway through and I still was like not loving the story, but the ending the ending the ending the ending the ending when you kind of see how she becomes the queen of hearts dude i was obsessed i was obsessed with her because like she was so evil i was like i want more then i read dating dr dill 
which was such a fun read for me. Again, that's the main criteria. This book follows Karina, who is more career driven, isn't really focused on love, but not because she's opposed to it. She's just, she wants a perfect match. And her dad is thinking about selling the house that her mother built. And she's like, no. And so her dad says that in the next six months, you need to be um, at least engaged for you to be able to keep the house. So she's trying to find someone to be engaged with and then she meets Mr. Mr. Dr. Dill here and he doesn't really feel the same way about love and it's just there's a lot there's a lot. So this is a Desi romance which is my first um, Desi romance kind of book and I thought this was super fun. I thought that the main character Karina was like okay. I didn't hate her but I don't know. She just kind of fell a little flat and the dude, what's his actual name? And Dr. Dill or Prem, I liked, I, I liked the story, not really the characters as much, but the story itself was really fun for me. I'm on my last stack of books, guys. I'm sad. <laughs> I want to keep talking. <laughs> so, you know how I said I really just don't like Twisted Love? And I, I truly thought, I was like, there's no way I'm going to read something else that I despise as much as Twisted Love. Then I read Magnolia Parks. I, <laughs> this book makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. This book follows a bunch of rich kids in England, which I think the main problem with this book is that they're British. And they just all made me so angry. I think they're all idiots. So this is a like toxic romance. It's not really like, oh, it's a beautiful love story. It's like, these people are awful for each other. And they so are, and they very much are. And I'll give credit where credit is due. She did what she said she was gonna do. But the way that other people talk about this book makes me angry because they they make it sound like it's this beautiful thing and it's really not. It's so bad and it makes me angry and I hate everyone in this book. The next book that I read, which so much better, was Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I had a couple people telling me that this series is just absolutely amazing. Like you have to like, don't even think about uh, Akatar, think about this. And I really liked this. I thought that Celine, right? Selena? Selena? So I would say Lena. So Selena? I thought that this was a really good way to get someone to care about the character because I genuinely really do want to read Throne of Glass. However, I've heard some kind of iffy things about the author so I don't think I'll be continuing this series. But I thought this was a really fun time and I felt so bad for her. Like the way it ended, I was like, actually, like, this is insane. Like I'd die personally if I was in the situation. Hello again. Assassin's Blade is about Selena S Sardothian. I, I can't do fantasy names. She, it's the prequel to the story, but this book did not come out before the first book. I think it came out like before the third or after the third book and it just kind of explains like where she is in the first book and yeah so it's a bunch of novellas put into one so there's five stories in that one book um i don't really know what else to say without spoiling it but she just she's just really cool in this book i am like in the process of learning german and so i decided to read metamorphosis by franz kafka because this is originally a german story i didn't like it he turns into a beetle and nothing happens. So the next two books I actually did a reading vlog on. So I'm not going to go too in depth on them because I kind of already like said all of my thoughts. I read Divine Rivals. Ah, I'm so, guys, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm going to start crying. This book, I just thought this was so beautiful. I love the writing. It was very fast paced for me. This book was so like, their romance was just so beautiful. And it felt like like romantic like the other romance books it was like okay yeah they're in love but like this was like romance man the second book that i read in that video was once upon a broken heart everyone and their mom loves this series 
I didn't really care for it. I thought it was good. I, I really liked the idea behind it, like the story part of it, but the characters, I just kind of didn't care. And then the third part of the book, I had no idea what was going on. There was just too much happening and I couldn't really, I don't know. Then I read Call It What You Want, which I had never heard of. It was a gift and I was pleasantly surprised by this book. This book is about um, this guy named Rob who his father stole millions of dollars from the people in their town and this girl Megan who got caught cheating on the SAT so she doesn't really have any more friends because they think she's a cheater and kind of the unlikely way that they become friends and eventually spark a little romance. And this is also YA and this was so easy for me to read and it was just such a fun time and like if you feel like you're in a slump, pick up a YA book. Like honestly, it there it was so fun. I had a, like a really good time, pleasantly surprised. It was really good. So the next book, which is the last book I've officially finished while filming, <sighs> I read You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. My sister recommended this to me. <sighs> I finished this book last night. So like I'm still kind of developing my thoughts. However, I think that this was probably the most like true and beautiful book I read. Like. Divine Rivals, I absolutely loved. That was beautiful. But this one was just so real. And I felt like, I don't, I just, I don't even know how to describe it, honestly. This book is about a girl named Faye who like five years ago lost the love of her life in a car accident. And so she's just not really ready to open herself up. But she meets a guy and he's actually really great and he's super sweet. But then she meets his father. <laughs> I know that that sounds like a super messy, like awful, like kind of premise, but it, it was messy, but oh my gosh, like I just, this book was, it, I mean, it was beautiful and it was sexy and it was real and you just, I felt so many things reading this book and I'm just so absolutely happy that I read this book. Like I'm obsessed. So the last book, which I have started, I'm going to finish it today because I told myself I was gonna read 30 books this year and that's what I'm gonna do. So right now I am reading The Way I Used to Be. This is a reread for me actually. I read this in like middle school. So honestly, it's not really a reread because I don't remember anything. Please look up like trigger warnings about this book because it does follow a pretty heavy topic. So I'm not going to go too like into it. Um, I'm not even 100 pages in, but like my heart is just re-breaking. I decided to reread this because the second book came out and I was like, you know what? I might as well. Like I'd kind of been needing to reread it. <sighs> this book, I just, I feel like my heart, my heart, dude. It is 9.18 and I just finished the way I used to be. I want to start crying. <laughs> I wasn't literally reading it the whole time. I did not feel like crying. But now that I've finished it, I want to ball my eyes out. That's it, guys. Oh, I love books. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of learned a little bit more about me based on what I read. I hope you guys read some of these um, and if you have read some please let me know your thoughts. Um, I just love talking about books. I can talk about books forever and ever. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video.